Hello guys, in this video we will cover the installation of Windows 2012 R2. In my case I will be installing it on the VMware workstation. At first we will see the minimum requirement for the 2012 R2 operating system. We will have a look at the same from the Microsoft website. So as you can see the minimum processor is 1.4 GHz. The RAM is 512 MB whereas the disk space is 32 GB. There are other requirements as you can see here. So now let me show you how you can download the Windows 2012 R2 from the Microsoft website. Just go to the Google and type Windows 2012 R2 ISO download. Select the first link which appears. Then you have to go to Windows 2012 R2 section and select ISO. Then you can continue. You need to fill the information like your name, company name, job title, etc. As you can see all are mandatory. Select continue and then download link will be provided to you. We will now go towards VMware Workstation Pro. So let's create new virtual machine. So we will go with the custom. Fifteen is the version with new compatibilities operating system. As of now we will select installation of OS later. These are the OS versions available here. We'll select Windows Server 2012. Here we can name our virtual machine as per our needs. Browse and select the location where it has to be stored. Keeping this default, we'll go with the two number of processor it can be changed later on as per the requirement uh, ram can be kept to 4 gb as of now these are the network type available and depending upon our requirement we can select if physical uh, desktop laptop communication to the vm is needed or not i will select host only as of now we can keep it at default Here we will select the first option as we are creating a fresh VM. We will give 40 GB for the hard drive and select virtual disk as a single file. Path for the VMDK file which is a disk file format for VMware platform. Then you can review the configuration that's it you can remove the unwanted device from here as you can see the older version would be having a floppy disk here it is a printer so I'm removing that as we have selected earlier to add ISO later so we can edit uh, the CD DVD section and add the 2012 ISO done let's power on the virtual machines uh, let me tell you guys for the one who is installing the operating system in the hardware for server like Dell, HP, IBM etc you will need to insert the respective guide or drivers configuring the RAID, uh, RAID 1, RAID 0, RAID 5, RAID 1 0 as per your needs. Once it is done, insert DVD in the DVD ROM or another steps by attaching the DVD ISO through the console. For example, HP has an ILO console. You can attach the ISO and by taking that console you can start the installation on the physical hardware so then you have to boot the server from the DVD and the installation starts 
so now we are in the window here where I normally prefer to select English India because it sets the keyboard to the requirement but yes many has a different requirement based on their region specific where the server is getting installed so now there are four ways of installing OS will go with the standard server with graphical user interface accept it with no choice selecting custom for the fresh OS installation here selecting the 40 GB drive and creating a new partition it can be changed here but I will go with the full you can see the 350 MB uh, has been created as a system reserved partition here we can directly select next and start installation but I prefer to select format as you can see the difference now the uh, drive size so now the installation starts by copying the required files from ISO or DVD I will fast forward this until it gets complete as it will take some time. Uh, it's done and uh, it will prompt for the restart or by default it will uh, restart so again it will take some time i will fast forward it it will ask for the administrator credentials So guys finally it is done login through administrator by default server manager opens up always install the VMware tools first up it will take few minutes now let's do the basic configuration change the host name as per your requirement Once it is done, it will ask for a reboot. So it is getting rebooted now. We can change the IP address to a static one. We can go to run and type ncpa.cpl or else we can uh, go directly to the control panel networks and sharings and here network adapters. I always prefer to uncheck IP version 6 if it is not which is available in your environment and type the IP address I will type here as 192.168.200 I will keep the subnet as it is default gateway is 192.168.200.1 no DNS as of now
then you have to enable the RDP allow remote connections it's better to uncheck allow connection only from computers you can manually select the users who should have access from here next is disabling the firewall as most of the organization has their dedicated firewall which comes with the antivirus installed so better to disable this if you are very sure about it once joined to domain you will have domain network setting also which again can be disabled from here So in 2012 you have a feature called nick teaming. We can add multiple nick and bind it. One more thing which I want you to perform is disable the IE ESC as it blocks many things in Internet Explorer right from the download. So now I will show the tools available by default with this OS as you can see there are many roles and features already installed powershell is very handy for automation uh, performance monitor as the name says microsoft azure services is the new one here so let's explore the available roles and features in 2012 r2 In files and storage, you can configure file server, DFS, etc. These are the roles available. In IS, you can configure FTP. Next, we will go for the features. There are many features available where you can install. In your server see you can see SMTP can be configured a uh, very important features that is uh, you would prefer to install in each and every server is telnet client where you can troubleshoot the port availability of any server so that's it Thank you for watching if you find this video useful please don't forget to like share and subscribe